Okay, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be inspired by a TikTok that I made um, like last week. So I had the idea, which other creators have had the same idea, I just didn't know, um, about people commenting emojis and then me basing a Tumblr off of those emojis. So this Tumblr will be based off of that lion, the Leo sign, and the stars. So I had gotten this temporary tattoo off of Amazon um probably forever ago honestly like months ago it's just been sitting there and I thought this would be perfect so I took off the clear plastic sheet that was on the top and then I cut close to the image and then I added just a little bit of uh dampness to my spray painted 20 ounce skinny from Griffin Blanks and I just spray painted it with a flat white, um, what I usually, if I don't base it with the color, it's usually flat white is what I base it with. I then added the tattoo upside down, um, so face down onto the tumbler. And then I took a wet paper towel and wiped it, but like was gentle with wiping it. I then tried to pull it up and I realized that it wasn't adhering fully yet so I added more water and made sure it was completely saturated before I tried peeling it up again so once I peeled it up you have this beautiful image I was so excited I didn't have to print anything um, of course you do have to wait for it to dry before you really do anything before you mess with it but you can uh, if you have water on your fingers you can smooth it out if there are any wrinkles and um, there's no sealing or anything else before you do anything else. So then what I did was I took some alcohol inks, put them in medicine cups, and took a, a couple of these foam makeup sponges that you can get like bulk on Amazon or Walmart. And I just started dabbing away. I honestly had no idea what I was going to do. Um, but I knew that I wanted half of the tumbler to be this um, orange, yellow, color um and then the other half to be like the dark blue purple and um black uh the idea behind it is i'm not a leo so i don't really know much about like signs or anything else so i did look it up and leos are a fire sign i could be wrong but fire sign um so like the sun is um like the planet that well i guess the sun is a star but i don't know that much about astrology but I wanted to try and incorporate it since the comment um, was obviously based around being a Leo. That's my interpretation of it. So all I did was I dabbled with these alcohol inks. I had no um, method behind the madness. I just dabbed. I would take a paintbrush and kind of paint it on. I would just take some 91% alcohol and... Um, use that to spread the inks a little bit more it is really hard to control alcohol inks uh it, you can have an idea in your head of what you want but it's not always going to turn out exactly the way you think it is and i will also note that i didn't realize half the time that this uh was out of frame i just this morning purchased new mounts off of amazon so that I could film better because the mount that I'm using right now is starting to wear out on me and um, I think at part of this video you'll see that it's like slowly starts moving down so um, I bought new mounts so that things could be videotaped a little bit better um, but then I took see because you can't see it um, but uh, I took some like dark blue, like indigo. I used a variety of Bria Reese inks that you can get from CC DIY, Pinata inks, um, Ranger inks. They're all good. Um, yep, see there, I had to move it back because it was slowly falling. Um, and um, I will definitely say that like Pinata, the black alcohol ink from Pinata, is not as opaque as the Bria Reese black alcohol ink. Um, and what I mean by that is if you just want like a light shading where you still see like the bottom um, prominently, then I predominantly, prom I don't know. But if you want it to be like not as like black in your face, like right there, dark, 
um, then I would use pinata. But if you need like a good black base, I would definitely recommend getting the Bria Reese black because there is a huge difference there. I feel like there's more pigment in it. So it just, it just holds up better. Um, basically what you're seeing me do is go back and forth, um, and try and figure out how I can make this look like not a sloppy mess. Um, it's again, it's, you are literally just doing the best you can with this tumbler. Um, alcohol, like I said, alcohol inks, you, there is no method to the madness, madness. It, alcohol inks are going to do what they're going to do. Anyways, I'm sorry that the tumbler is out of frame a lot and um, this is in like fast motion, but I literally spent like an hour doing the alcohol inks on this tumbler, playing around with it. I, <laughs> um, an hour of footage, literally. Um, so it is sped up, but I'm literally just playing with alcohol inks. So do the same, have fun with it. If you mess up, just take some 91% alcohol and wipe it off. Now I will say that since it is a temporary tattoo, um, if you are afraid that you are going to mess up the alcohol ink, go ahead and epoxy over the temporary tattoo first, and then go ahead and start playing with alcohol inks. But once everything was hundred percent dry, which alcohol ink dries fairly quickly, you can go ahead and add some epoxy. Um, I use some peach granita, granada, granita, um, from Create by Firefly. Um, I liked this like shattered opal effect where over the orange, it was like a pinkish, but then once it hit that blue, it was like a greenish yellow. So I thought that was perfect for, um, this tumbler. And I just sprinkled some down the edges just to add a little sparkle because why not have some glitter in there? Um, just to have, I honestly had no idea where I was going with this tumbler. I, I, after I epoxied it, I was like, let's add glitter. <laughs> so once that completely cured, um, I did use CC DIY facet. I did 20 milliliters first time, 20 milliliters second time. I do recommend doing it another time and sanding, um, because that, that shattered glitter can, um, be a bit of a pain if you don't press it down after adding it. Um, then I went ahead, I got both of these images off of uh, Creative Fabrica, I'm pretty sure. Um, I have an account with them, so um, I pay monthly for images, and they're great. Um, if you don't need a lot of designs, I don't recommend getting the like monthly payments, but it's up to you. But I use like a Fire Opal, which you can again get from Create by Firefly, um, which is this yellow pink orange color um once I weeded it I realized that it was really hard for me to um weed out the stars so I just weeded it after it was on the tumbler because that was easier and um the other vinyl I used is like I don't want to say it's an opal but it's um maybe it is I don't know but it changes between like green and blue but like dark so it was like the opposite of the other side of the cup which I liked um and yeah that was it um I went ahead and added some epoxy again um if you're worried about your metallic or opal vinyl lifting at all while you're epoxying I definitely recommend CC DIY's quick coat um I would do two coats of epoxy as a final layer like thin coats like 15 20 milliliters but other than that, it's done and um, I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think and I'm excited to do more of these. So thanks for watching.